no sooner had members of parliament arrived at Kororo ceremonial grounds than they were taken for a guided tour of Nira premises. A lot was discovered, including the delayed processing of national identity cards. <laughs> The reasons for such anomalies were soon to be discovered as the guided tour went on. Old technology was one of them. From the statistics of UBOS, we have 29 million applications, but only 25 million, 25 million NINs. By the time MPs, who initially appeared charged, settled down for a meeting with NIRA officials, their attitude had changed, and this is why. We have 434 staff positions filled, 431 staffing gaps. Our structure starts at 8.65. Who is, what is our service? We have 12 million, 12, the, the figures vary with whichever uh, poll you are reading, but 12 million to 16.8 unregistered Ugandans. We have 1.2 million annu births annually, based on the growth rate of 3%. And we have 300,000 deaths on average. Point. Is it possible for these people to, to, do, to handle that? Sounding disappointed, MPs underscored the need to address staffing and funding gaps at NIRA. We are not going to sort out the issues of NIRA unless this organization is relatively funded properly. Then we go down to see whether that fund is utilized to sort out the issues. How information is trans transferred from the, 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 the communities to the system is a challenge because at that time we're moving with the flashes. People are moving on a motorcycle with very valuable information. Because you are understaffed, you are underfunded as a committee of the parliament. We are ready to, to stand with you in that and solve that problem. But clean your name so that we can move on well. The committee chairperson, Rosemary Nyaki Kongoro, committed to addressing these challenges. But also the system is quite slow to produce the cards that are required by Ugandans. So all these things we need to look at, at them in, uh, as a committee to ensure that NIRA is supported financially and also to be able to work. Henry Okrut, UBC.